What's going on, world? This is the way we see it. it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was the first time we ever tried that, y'all. I don't know. Thumbs up. We'll see. We, we gotta work on that. Y'all tell us. Hey, this is the way we see it. I am Will, and I am with. Look, look. We chip it. And to Jessica. my this side, Jessica. What's up, y'all? I'm hanging out with my best friends tonight, Luke and B. Randon and Jessica, um, and we are doing the way we see it. If this is y'all's first show, congratulations. If this is uh, y'all's 25th show, we are thrilled you're here. Um, tonight, uh, you know, we're in the it's summer. It's hot outside, right, guys? Oh, yeah. Loving every oh, second of it. <laughs> I know. It, it's a good point, Jessica. It is nice weather. But so with that, uh, with this summertime feel that we all have going on, I figure there was a couple, you know, Summertime hot topic topics that we wanted to talk about tonight. So for our lineup on today's podcast, we have three major things and segments we have prepared that we're excited about. Number one, B. Randon is going to tell us about video games. Um, Y'all may have been seeing uh, video game company stocks. Oh, uh, we've talked about that on this show as well as some of the new releases that we haven't talked about. We're going to dive into tonight. <laughs> Secondly, Jessica has some stories over here to tell us about what happened with the MMA fight last night. Uh, that was a big deal and all over the TV, and we're going to review that for you. And finally, uh, we all love Netflix or Netflix and chill, right? And Luke over here is going to handle the hottest Netflix reviews of the summer. So, uh, be random. Take it away. What's going on in the video game world right now? Uh, it's doing pretty well. Uh, I, I do know Warzone is now probably the most hated game. <laughs> <laughs> just, just by the way it... It operates so dumb. Like, they don't check on it or nothing. They don't fix anything. It's all buggy, and it's really bad. But okay, what wait, I want to so know... For, for those of us non-video game nerds here, what, it, what play, is this on, like, Xbox and PlayStation and PC, or is this just... It's on like everything, bro. Okay. It's on everything. Okay. You know what he's talking about, Luke? <clears throat> yeah, Warzone? Yeah. Everybody plays Warzone. Yeah. My favorite game would be Kingdom Hearts, probably. That and the Tomb Raider series. They're pretty dope. I'm a big fan of the, the Last of Us series. I haven't tried that yet. The what oh my series? gosh, it's so good. I'm a big fan of Rocket League because it gets my blood boiling. Oh my god, Rocket League. <laughs> I can't play Rocket League. Wait, so this is an honest question. This is how much I don't know about video games. Like, are, are they still making the Halo series? And are, are people still buying oh, and yeah, playing Halo? Halo? Know the that next one to come out. It's supposed to be the savior of the all next games. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 their franchise. Their franchise. The savior of their franchise. <laughs> Save the franchise? They quit making Halo? No, but, like, they started oh. to drift off a little bit after Halo 5, I believe it was. And, uh... So they want to make this the savior of the franchise and like start making them again. I think, I believe. Right. Wait, make what? Are you talking about War Warzone? Like a, a new Master Chief Halo game, and it's supposed to be the savior, like the new Halo. They stopped for like five years. Well, like every level was the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. just do it, and every game, no game was different. Like every Halo, like. Yeah, That's the map. You got to get good online. Like, but you're just doing the same thing. Good online, brother. I like the, the, the mini games, like Infection. That one was really fun for some oh, reason. Yeah, yeah, I like playing, playing Super Fiesta like, Party. Wait, Jessica, Infection. Are you talking about like the app on your phone, the game Infection? No, on Halo. I'm pretty sure that's what Oh, 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 oh. Um, but it was like, um, like where you had um, your soldier guy. Really know like the proper terminology because I'm not like a big gamer, but like I dabbled. Um, and then you'd have your alien with the sword, and they would infect you if they could hit you with the sword. And it was like shotguns against swords. Oh um, yeah, what was that like? Uh, the glass sword thing they had in Halo that like if you got touched with that, like it was the automatic death. Like, and it was great to uh, get it. Uh, you could feel anything? The bolt sword? No. Nah, what was that thing? Um, I have no idea. I don't know, nothing would make me more excited in Halo, though, when I would, you know, get to a checkpoint and come up on a warthog. And instead of having to jog everywhere in the game, 
you know, you could drive the uh, like the ATV vehicle, and if you were playing multiplayer, you could have somebody ride up in the turret and shoot for you while you drive. Cool. <laughs> That was awesome. Yeah, I'll never play Kingdom Hearts. No, what is that? Wow, best game ever. Uh, it's like a Disney game actually, but made in China, and it has like no, like just a Disney correlation, but not like a Disney game. Like, is it, like is it a game for children? What what age range are you recommending this to? I mean, like, it's, mm, I don't know. It depends. I'd say teens. <laughs> And kids, a kid could play it on beginner, maybe. But, Twelve. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, because you know, like we, you know, we would like if we're talking about the Frozen game, you know, we may no. recommend that to like, you know, eight like and that. below. But like if we're talking about Grand Theft Auto, we'd probably recommend that to, like <laughs> fifty and up, you know. So I didn't know if there was like a age range. Um, oh, good for everybody. Whatever. <laughs> That's the way we see it. That's our opinion on video games, and it's not that much. <laughs> but at least we can say we covered it. So there you go. A little uh, bit. Now let's talk okay. about, before we get to this whole fight thing, is, um, on this whole, uh, I guess, online entertainment subject, what have you been watching on Netflix this year? I mean, because Netflix, I heard at, like, end of last year, I on the I was listening to a bit, I think it was on the Bobby Bones on his podcast, and they were saying that uh, Netflix had announced that they were going to be releasing like over 65 new movies this year, which is like over a brand new movie a week that they're producing, editing, and distributing, which is a lot of work when you actually think about it and do the math. But so, I mean, have y'all seen, I mean, any of the new content this year on Netflix? Tell me about that. I like Shit's Creek. I've been watching that a lot recently. <laughs> That's a funny that show. There. Show, it's good. I think it's good for everybody. Oh yeah, I've been watching Hulu. I haven't been on Netflix. Yeah. I've been oh, you're a lot of Yellowstone too. Oh, come on. Wait, you have an <laughs> Netflix, Brandon? Netflix. Netflix only offers you like eight thousand different rotating streaming capabilities on it, and they keep on like ruining the ability of anything on it. Like they shorten like how many accounts you can have on it. Um, yeah. I don't like their BLM mm -hmm. shit. They don't have Rick and Morty. Yeah, yeah they have some really progressive, no. weird stuff on there. Okay, yeah. So what do you watch? Like, uh, Luke and I have already declared Netflix. Brandon is the outcast so far. He's a Hulu <laughs> weirdo. What do you like? Right now I'm on Amazon Prime and I'm watching Cougar Town. <laughs> weirdo. You should be watching yeah. Animal yeah. Kingdom on there. That's such a good show. It's so entertaining. It's almost like a Always Sunny, but a divorcey... <laughs> <laughs> Animal Kingdom is really good too. That's on Prom if you watch Prom stuff. It's a, uh, it's not about animals, but it's like being about the lion of your territory, pretty much. Like it's, it's really good. What is it? What are you talking about? Prime show? Yeah, kinda. Organized. What is it? Uh, it's called Animal Kingdom. Best show I've seen so far. Animal Kingdom. Yes, that is a cool show. You've seen it? I have not. Seen it, but and I don't want to give anything away, but it is definitely like y'all should put that on your watch list. Dude, like, and you know, Amazon, is good. Amazon has some cool stuff. You know, Amazon would probably be more popular if they would finally come out with the season three of Jack Ryan. Did y'all ever see the Jack Ryan series on Prime? My dad loved that. I don't. It was so cool. Like Jim from The Office, like you know, was the he coolest guy. It, I heard. The office, but he but now he's like our nation's most badass spy. That's what Jack Ryan is. Y'all have to go watch it. See, I, I know there is uh, season one and two on on Prime because it's been there for like four years, and I don't know what they're doing on a season three, but allegedly they're filming it. So, right. Hey, if I were y'all though, before I watched that, have y'all heard of um? There's Bloodlines and Penny Dreadful. I've heard Some of Bloodlines. Blood Bloodlines is good. And Penny blood. Dreadful, wow. It's like every childhood yep. story you've heard growing up, like Frankenstein, Werewolf, anything, anything like that, all like put together, intertwined, is insanely good. Nothing beats no, South Park. Uh, what were you saying, Jessica? Absolutely nothing beats South Park. It's the only thing left in the world. Here, oh beats. my God. And I can just watch on repeat every single season, and it's just as funny as the first time watching it. And sometimes, like, I credit. <laughs> 
so it's it's enjoyable. <laughs> it's hilarious. You. you gotta watch. That's a good point, though, Jessica. You gotta watch South Park like currently, though, too, because they they write jokes based off like what's going on in the news. Exactly. And so, if you're familiar with like current events, like political stuff, or like you know Hollywood drama, things like that, it's more funny when you you know when you get the jokes. But right. <laughs> Why are you being so quiet over there? So, other than gay porn, tell us what you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is so, that gay? Just gay porn? Yeah, Brandon, is, was that you just watch gay porn or is that it? Or <laughs> No, I couldn't hear who you were talking to. All I heard was uh, something about gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what let me get you excited and distracted over there. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'm really big on Rick and Morty. I like Rick and Morty. Oh, I love Rick and Morty. <laughs> What's your favorite you episode? Come. And why? Yeah, let's hear uh, that. What, what's the best episode? And there's got to be a reason. My favorite episode's got to be um, probably the one where I forget what it's called, but they go back into a different dimension of Rick and Morty's and two of them died and then they replace mm -hmm. those two and then bury the bodies in the backyard and just live the rest of their lives there. And they're the same Morty's today. Yeah. yeah that is <laughs> what I was expecting you were going to say. <laughs> crazy, okay, no. Hey, Yellowstone. My favorite one on Yellowstone would be oh, like, Rip cool. about yeah, Wolf Brandon, Jessica, Walker's y'all seen Yellowstone? No. Wow. Oh, you're a crime person, Jessica, and you don't watch yeah. Yellowstone? Yeah, Yellowstone's where it's at. <laughs> Yellowstone's where it's at. <laughs> but hey, Rip about whooped Walker's ass that day. Oh my god, that was my favorite one. I was like, wow. Hell yeah. He walked in and said, where's he at? He kicked that door open. I said, damn, he's in for it now. Thank Brandon, you fucked up. Keep it out. Yes. You watch Yellowstone? I don't. Um, oh, I think I've seen the commercials. It's uh, it's definitely a cool show. I heard what about Vet TV. It was what? I said, what y'all think about Vet TV? Oh. Ah, yeah. I love Vet TV. We uh, have okay. hey. Can we agree? Can we agree that this show endorses Vet TV? Yes. Uh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> All right, we have and I think that we should try to get them in our podcast. Well, we, should get, we should try what? to get O'Malley in on our uh, podcast. We sh oh my god, uh -oh. that is what we should do. Jessica, you're our marketing person, okay? Um, Luke and I, or Aya, is going to give you a contact for a guy named Roger O'Malley. Um, Luke, Ben, my brother knows him. Ben has done like two different. Ben has been in a vet TV movie, and then he was been in two different commercials for him. Because he hangs out with that whole like ex army crowd. And uh, yeah, right. dude, we ought to reach out to him and see if we can get him on this podcast. Yeah, I'd love, yeah, love to talk to him too. Actually, <laughs> that'd be sweet. That's cool. I'm gonna send a text on that. Yeah. All right, y'all bring that up on the show next week on where we are with him. Dude, they do Vet TV does so many much oh, promotional stuff. And, and again, for y'all listeners, we should back up. Um, and like Jessica, if you don't know what Vet TV is, it's a, uh, it's a basically it's a TV network. They have a streaming service. They have an app you can download on your smart TV or on your telephone, and it's super cheap. It's only like eight ninety nine a month. Well, hey, we're gonna do a bit on Vet TV right now. Yeah, it's Brandon. How much? It's like what eight ninety nine a month? Wow. Uh, yeah, I was about to say five. Yeah, it's super cheap. It's totally worth it, guys. And they have all these, like military shows about being in the military, and Man, or about like not, working in shit. different divisions in the military. And it's so hilarious, and it's so accurate too. Like it is completely spot on. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to check it out. You're gonna laugh. That is funny. So Jessica, you've been quiet over there. Um, as we wrap up this whole Amazon Netflix debate. You were watching TV last night, right? There was this whole big fight on that we were talking about at the beginning of the show. Yeah, I I want to start off with first saying sorry for anybody in the world who paid for that fight. 
<laughs> I my experience was I was like chilling at home and I was watching it on my TV and then it cut out so I had to like jump up and, like rush over to my friend's place and finish it. Um, but basically, McGregor was supposedly talking shit before, like how he was gonna put Ponier. I don't really know how to pronounce his name properly, so I'm, I apologize. But how he was gonna like put him in a body bag and this and that. I wouldn't be shocked if he said he would like fuck his wife or something. But um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, um, that happened, and then uh, McGregor got KO in four and a half minutes in the first round, broke his leg because of some faulty like simple systematic footwork so like this man like was talking all this crap and then honey at the very end of it calls him out he was like mcgregor this guy he's a bad guy he's an awful human being like he said this and that um and i'm not gonna say like karma's a bitch but karma's definitely in the mirror for him and then he like one upped him in an alpha male perspective as in talking about how he was doing that fight for like cancer patients and raising money for charities and all these stuff and he gave a few like sur survivors like some shout outs um so i just feel like he like one-upped him and i was extremely disappointed because like the anticipation between that fight and having to deal with everybody else um basically hugging each other throughout every other fight was it was just disappointing it was 100 percent disappointing um however if anybody is interested and like really invested into these fights they're in this website and it's not entirely legal in the u.s but people still use it in the u.s but it's like the best place to like put bets on you talking about um, draft games no i'm, I'm talking about stakeholder.com okay um, it's uh i don't know i, I feel like one person put ten thousand dollars on mcgregor and the buyout would have been twenty one thousand um and he got tko'd <laughs> so early and i was so mad um, it wasn't even worth the fight. And then he was barking like a little bitch right afterwards, too. Like, right after this man called him out and he was on the floor, like, with a broken leg, he, like, still was, like, barking at him, like, completely. He was like, this isn't over. Like, I'm going to come back for you. Um, but so, do you think this was rigged at all? Or, like, that McGregor went down intentionally, you know, for Because, I mean, Hell no. he all, broke his like, foot. before we hear report on this episode tonight, we were all here talking about this fight, you know, in our pre show warm up. And. I think somebody brought up the fact that, you know, there's all this betting and it's, you know, gambling involved. And that's why a lot of people buy it on TV is because they're invested in gambling, I think Luke said. And so, like, I, you, you would have to wonder that about the immense pressure that's put on fighters or that's approached to them by people that have money at stake and offer them things to throw a fight. And I, I wouldn't say that it happens every time, but, like, I mean, we would all have to think that it happens, like, to some extent, right? I mean, maybe for like the Super Bowl, like for football, yeah. But UFC, it's it's kind of hard to fake a broken leg. the Super Bowl. Like I know, like I don't know. Hey, I don't wait, so you're saying that people that the Super Bowl is rigged every year? That that's all I heard. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that's just my own perspective. That's just what I feel. That's how I feel. Um, like, I mean, I know, like, three years ago, it was stupid predictable, and I won 2K off of, when I was living at the beach, I won 2K off of um, the city's bets. There was, like, this old, like, sheriff who would get the entire town involved, and we'd all make bets on different teams on who would win. Um, and I only missed one, and one other person only missed one on, like, two different games, so we ended up splitting the 4K into half, um, going both ways. But it's, it's just predictable, like, human beings at that point. Um, UFC, though, it's... In my perspective from last night's fight, um, I think he just got super cocky. Um, he felt like he had a point to prove and the pressure got to him and he messed up on the most basic things like footwork. Like No, I think he just fucking broke his leg. <laughs> yeah, he did break his leg. <laughs> 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 ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I hated oh, I it. Second of it. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Brandon, did you watch it? So clearly, like, Luke and Jessica did over here, but... Yeah, I, did, I didn't watch it. Okay. Yeah, I, I lost the breakers line. I, I need to see that. Jessica, you have never responded to our Facebook invite. Your your invite to be an admin on on our show's Facebook page, which if, if y'all don't, don't follow us on Facebook already, that is the way we see it with Will, Luke, and Jessica. You can find us and we post every episode and funny pictures of each other and all that. So, um, 
accept that invite, Jessica. And then if you would share a video of this of what you're talking about so people listening can see this clip as as well. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll you yeah. And uh and Luke's gonna get you uh what's his name? Luke. The no. uh, that we were talking about. What? What, uh, what's it, what's his name? The guy we were just talking about from Vet TV. We just did a whole bit on him. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, O'Malley. Donnie yeah, thank O'Malley. you. Yeah, Roger O'Malley. I want to um, talk to him. Send me the yeah. number. I, I, um, we will be very pro Vet TV. I think it's good, and we would love to get him I on. feel like I should talk to him with Jessica since I actually watch the show and know what it's about, and she can yeah. do the market part. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get Roger O'Malley on this week, Jessica. We'll send you his information, or I will find it somewhere in existence and we'll get it to you i would have Ida reach out but um just you you might have less of an accent and just it, it's bad tv <laughs> yeah, for sure oh, look on your statement i can definitely do my research to be able to pitch someone onto our show um, yeah and if y'all know we're talking about i is our video editor i y'all know i love Aya more than anybody in the world i you are amazing Aya has a master's degree and she's fluent in like 12 languages and is a huge crypto like currency trader she has like twenty thousand subscribers on her youtube channel like it's, it's amazing so Ooh. wild but no thank you for sharing that jessica so we've covered every topic tonight y'all got anything else for us um brandon i i do what want to ask Rose? y'all one question about about something though y'all there yeah hey froze for a second now we're here I can all hear right you. yeah i can hear you i don't okay. know what happened here. apparently we had a technical glitch we were uh actually just wrapping the podcast up so or we appreciate you Time out. Does everybody have a beer on them? Did Luke just leave? Yeah, it was his glitch. Yeah, Time Luke just left. What were you saying, Jess? I was saying if everybody has a beer with them, we should shotgun a beer to close it out. Ooh. I don't have, beer. <laughs> I don't have one nearby. Oh. Darn. All right. No, 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 no. I love that idea, though, Jessica. So, all right, <laughs> starting next week, it's going to be mandatory that if you're here, you have to have a beer, whether you're drinking it or not. You should be drinking it, but you should at least be a team player and bring it. And then we can all like cheers up at once. Yes, I love that. Hand away. There we go. Yeah, that I'll, would be cool. I'll have to get somebody to buy it for me because I am too young. <laughs> Aww, well, oh, wait. Like world. <laughs> yeah, wait, I just heard that, Brandon. Um, we were at work last week and we were talking about the Miami trip because like everybody here is going to Miami, um, you know, because we're, we're going to do this episode we've talked about. If y'all don't know what we're talking about, uh, the way we see it with Will, Luke, Jessica, Brandon, Devin, and Cody, and the banker, we are all uh, getting on a plane. We're going to Miami, Florida, and we're going to do a bunch of cool shit for a couple days and film wild stuff um, and us pushing the limit to see what we can and cannot get in trouble with. So My it'll be fun. Place. But like, you are. Freaking interesting. I like this guy from Miami. It's going to be so fun. But... No, so we were talking about this at work, telling everybody, Brandon, and Cody was telling, or Devin or somebody told me that you weren't 21. So maybe yeah. you can be a driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's also the problem, though. I don't have a license. <laughs> oh, that's tough. All right, we'll work on that. Well, y'all, this has been the way we see it. Uh, Luke uh, is gone for now. Uh, but Jessica, thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we've enjoyed hearing from you, as well as you, Brandon. You kind of put this content together and... Uh, you know, we uh, we usually have the problem of running people off, and so it's a nice it's nice when they come back. You know, week after week. You, last week was your first week with us, and uh, you know we didn't know if you're going to show up tonight, so we will uh, take it as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I, I love hanging out with you guys. It's amazing. Yeah, awesome, y'all. Uh, look us up on Facebook. We just said it. It's the way we see it with Will, Luke, and Jessica. Or you can check us out at WillsWorldChannel.com, or the same on YouTube. Later, y'all. See you next week. <laughs>